Greetings, everyone, and welcome to our presentation on differential equations applications. Our group consists of John Guerrero, David Pangilinan, and Don Agbayani. So first off, applications of differential equations. There are various applications for differential equations below, but for this project, our group will be focusing on beam deflection. So beams are members in a design that primarily resists loads aimed laterally to the beam's axis. Beams are commonly used in civil engineering, but there are also beams that exist like beams in mechanical engineering and are analyzed as such, wherein in some cases we use differential equations to solve various computations. Beams deflect in the form of bending, but what does deflection mean? Deflection is when a member deviates from its original orientation. The main reason beams deflect in this manner is due to their role in supporting vertical loads, wherein if not properly calculated, the tendency is to deform or sometimes break. The study of beam deflection is important in the safety of a structure. Not only is it used for safety, it is also used in serviceability of a structure. A beam that seems to be bending can cause a psychological effect on the occupants. Even if the beam, beam is structurally safe, it may cause uneasiness and discomfort in people, leading them to believe that the whole structure is not well made. In some other infrastructures, beams are used as an architectural design. The example problem, find the deflection of the beam fixed rigidly at both ends with the length 6 meters and loaded with a uniformly distributed force Q, 3 newtons per millimeter, with a modulus of elasticity of 200,000 newtons per square millimeter and moment of inertia 300 times 10 raised to the fourth millimeter raised to the fourth, as shown in the figure below. From the figure in the problem, we consider that the uniformly distributed force Q acts on the full length L of the beam. We assume that the modulus of elasticity and moment of inertia of the beam is the same for all sections of the beam. And using the beam deflection differential equation formula, and rewritten in the form as follows below, the negative Q signifies that the load is direct, uh, directed vertically downwards. The following differential equation boundary conditions are valid when the ends of the beam are fixed rigidly. And applying multiple integrals of the beam deflection differential equation mentioned before will get us to the function y of x. And from the given conditions, y of x equal to 0 and equal to 0 and dy over dx x equal to 0 equals to 0, we determine that c sub 3 is equal to 0 and c sub 4 is equal to 0. And now applying the boundary conditions to the function y of x and dy over dx, we get the following system of equations with the unknown c sub 1 and c sub 2. Solving for constant c sub 1 and c sub 2 by simplifying and solving both equations simultaneously, we get their values as follows. Therefore, the function that best describes the beam deflection carrying a uniformly distributed load Q is as shown below. To determine the height of the deflection lambda, we find the derivative of the function f of x equals x squared quantity x minus l squared and equated to zero. The function at point x equals l over 2 is an extremum. The function f of x takes its maximum value here. Then the height of the deflection lambda can be determined by the formula. Now applying the given values, the deflection is as follows. Lambda equals 16.88 millimeters. Conclusion. The value of the height of deflection lambda is proportional to the length of the beam by the fourth power. This trait limits the imagination on what can be constructed.